lives and the stormy romance of Mexican artists Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera have been well documented over the years in books and in movies and of course TV. Well now their story gets a new twist, an opera that reunites the couple after her death. The Last Dream of Frida and Diego premiered to critical acclaim last year in San Diego. Now it's here at the LA Opera. The colorful and elaborate costumes in the show are the work of award-winning costume designer Eloise Kazan. This opera is a dream and it's a fantasy about uh, Frida and Diego meeting for one last time after Frida's death on a, a, the night of the Day of the Dead. <laughs> She doesn't just return for Diego, but she returns for her painting and to once more feel those colors. For me, actually, her life is probably even more inspiring than her painting. In spite of all the challenges that she went through in her life and the pain, the courage she had, I, I think that's, for me, kind of what really made it amazing, telling that whole thing through costume. We've created about 130 costumes for this opera. This is one of my favorites. I created this whole skirt that is made all out of her drawings. They were all individually painted and printed. Pieces of paper creating, you know, her dress. And I think this is very much what Frida did, is really build her story and tell her story through everything that she wore. I'm hoping it's just exciting to see Frida, some of Frida's paintings in a way come to life on stage but also it's a reinterpretation, obviously. I'm hoping that the audience will create their own vision of Frida. I've done Mexican-themed shows many times, and I always try to love making it contemporary, and at the same time, it always ends up being a mix of different influences. As a Mexican, you want to do it justice, but you don't want to do the same thing that's been done over and over again. I'm Croatian and Mexican, so I do think that this is actually an advantage for this show because it helped me understand things from within side, you know, those traditions, and also see them a bit as a foreigner. I kind of wanted to give it a bit of a twist. So, I, I, for example, there is a future Frida character that is even a bit, you know, punk and rock and roll. And so I wanted to put that mix of things that for me, just as a teenager from Mexico or for anywhere, would have kind of been inspiring. And, and I feel that Frida's life was very much like that as well in her art. Being able to join those elements and just feel inspired to, you know, find your own voice. It was a very bold choice to really do an opera that's all orange and blue, but in Mexico City, the whole city does become a bit orange on the, around the Day of the Dead. And I think that's something that the set designer and I, you know, just the marigolds and those images that we all have about the cemeteries and the candlelight, those things kind of came natural. And, you know, from visiting places where Frida and Diego lived and shopped and uh, spent time, we kind of distilled it, I guess, into the, the design of this opera. <laughs> There are some specific costumes that we kind of adapted for, for each venue. San Diego, San Francisco, and LA. As a costume designer, I feel, yeah, one thing is what you sketch and design, and I'm trying to be as precise as I can be about that. But then you see the singers, and obviously they also bring a lot to the costume. They change how you see some of the things that you've presented, and it evolves with them to be able to look at your work and take you know, a step back and then realize that you didn't do some errors and then correct them is fantastic. So this is a really rare treat that I do get to polish everything and get it right where I wanted it. This is the god of the underworld. We adapted it and the first version we did in San Diego, it was recreated and I think it looks even better now and it was made here in, in LA. He appears at the very end of the opera in a way, uniting all the characters in that world of the dead. 
I feel that there has been a lot of talk about Frida and the pain in her art, but I think what I love about this opera and what I really discovered in this process is that she was really a woman who loved fun, who really grabbed and enjoyed life as much as she could. And I kind of tried to approach the costumes in that same way. You can live with the many problems and challenges and still find your place in the world. That's something that most people today can also really relate to. And for me, that's the most important really takeaway for this opera and of Frida's story. LA Opera's production of The Last Dream of Frida and Diego runs through December 9th at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. You can buy tickets.